Gainesville is best known as the home of the University of Florida Gators. Fittingly, the stadium where football is played every autumn is nicknamed the Swamp. In the heart of campus is the 157 foot tall Century Tower. Completed in the 1950s, bells play every quarter of the hour between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. But there's much more to this landlocked city than a college. There's a lot to do here from acclaimed museums and points of historical interest to a pizza joint that's more like an evolving art installation and beautiful natural areas, one with a menacing name. On today's episode, we're showing you just a few of the things you can't miss in Gainesville, Florida, some of our favorites. All of that and so much more straight ahead. We start on campus here at the Florida Museum, one of the nation's top five natural history museums. Visitors can explore permanent exhibitions that focus on Florida's unique habitats and cultural history, with an emphasis on the Native American groups who have called the state home over the centuries. Inside the impressive Hall of Florida fossils, you can explore the last 65 million years of Earth's history since the extinction of the dinosaurs. One of the biggest draws is the massive butterfly rainforest, home to 50 species of butterflies. Not far from here on Museum Drive is a patch of land where you'll find the world's largest occupied bat houses. The bats usually emerge on warm evenings during a 15 to 20 minute period after sunset. Located at 513 East University Avenue is the Matheson History Museum. Inside this important cultural resource, visitors can learn more about the people and events which shaped local history. The museum is open limited hours Wednesday through Saturday. We have more information on our website. Florida is infamous for its sinkhole problem. They've gobbled up everything from cars to entire houses in different areas of the state. This natural area here in Gainesville is the only state park where you can travel deep into one of these giant formations. This sink has been drawing curious visitors since the 1800s. It got its unique name because it resembled the hopper of a mill. Bones found at the bottom suggested extinct land animals came through on their way to meeting the devil. Designated a National Natural Landmark, visitors today make their way down 132 steps, descending 120 feet into a bowl-shaped cavity. Over 100 feet of rock layers are exposed, providing a visible geological record of the area. The slopes are covered in lush vegetation with a series of trickling little streams that could double as a miniature tropical rainforest. The trail goes around the top of the sink and is an excellent place to walk or sit a spell and enjoy nature. 
The park is closed Monday and Tuesday. There's a $4 charge per vehicle. Since opening in the early 2000s, Satchel's Pizza has established itself as the funky go-to spot with seriously good pizza. The term local institution is thrown around a lot, but Satchel's might just be the reason why that phrase was invented. Satchel's provides a colorful setting to enjoy your food, both inside and out. Here you can eat in the van, under a plane, or in a greenhouse. Because the space is always evolving artistically, there's something new to see every time you dine at Satchel's. We've now made our way over to Satch Squared. This hip location near the UF campus specializes in Detroit-style pizza and waffles. It's part of the 4th Avenue Food Park, an open-air community space with several locally owned eateries and a stage for live music. There's a little bit of everything here, something for every palate. This little burger joint across from the 4th Avenue Food Park might be fairly new, but it has some serious retro vibes. Dick Mondell is a fictional name the owners used when they worked on a project together at a culinary institute. I opted for the original Big Dick, two beef patties with pickles and dick sauce minus the lettuce and onion. The patties were just the right thickness, not overly seasoned, with the sauce being just the right complement. Dick's menu also includes an impossible burger, a veggie burger, and a chicken burger, along with salads, milkshakes, and ice cream sandwiches. This homestead was established by a family from South Carolina in the 1850s. The house itself is unique because family members had the tradition of scribbling important information on the walls. Everything from recipes and addresses to elaborate drawings and funny quotes, even ways to get out stubborn stains. Experts have counted over 12,500 words scrawled in almost every room and closet. The homestead is one of the last surviving antebellum homes in North Central Florida. It's an interesting tour if you have an hour or two. A couple of small towns you have to check out when you're in the Gainesville area. The first is High Springs, a few minutes northwest of downtown. Known for its historic train depot, the Main Street area has sweet little storefronts filled with antiques, specialty shops, and a few eateries. Travel south on Highway 441 with a stop at Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park. There you can see gators and bison that call this vast landscape home. Then on to Florida's oldest inland town of Micanopy. The downtown district is on the National Register of Historic Places and is a popular destination for antique lovers. Micanopy's eclectic mix of authentic rustic storefronts along with its historic homes and old cracker houses have earned it the nickname, the town that time forgot. About a half hour drive southwest of Gainesville near Williston is a former century old limestone quarry that's been turned into an exquisite botanical garden. 
What's known today as Cedar Lake's Woods and Gardens is the creation of one man, Dr. Raymond Weber, who purchased the abandoned quarry in the 1990s. He intended to use the property as a giant fishing pond. Instead, he transformed it into a tropical paradise, complete with a number of waterfalls and hundreds of species of plants and flowers. This is one of the most unique botanical gardens you will find in the southeastern part of the country and shouldn't be missed when you're in the area. We have more information about Cedar Lakes on our website. That's it, just a few of our favorite things you can't miss in the Gainesville area. What looks good to you? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. Stay updated with our latest content by subscribing to the channel. It's free and activate the notification bell so you know when new tips and guides are released. More information about the content on this channel is available at our website. As always, thank you for watching. From Gainesville, Florida, See you next time.